All right, guys, welcome. What we're going to do here is play with the blending tool. So let's click and select two objects. And then we're going to go up to Object on the menu bar and then down to Blend and then Make. I want you to notice there's a Blend Options there. So we've made a blend here. So what's happening really is the object on the right is a vector shape. The object on the left is a vector shape. The things in the middle are just sort of instances. They don't really exist. In other words, you can't really select them. You can't do anything to them except move them around a little bit, and that only by virtue of this path that goes between the first shape and the last shape. You'll notice there's three steps in between, right? There's three of these things between five shapes in all, or what seem to be five shapes. It's really just two shapes with these three instances in between. If we go up to Object and then down to Blend and then over to Blend Options, what we get is some other options. This is actually set to spacing a smooth color, which really doesn't seem quite right. Let's preview that. Let's do Specified Steps. And you can see it says three steps already, right? So if I change this to, say, five steps, and I click Preview, it's going to give me five steps in between, OK? These are just overlapping. They're the same color, so it looks like they're all one shape, and they're not, OK? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this back to three steps, OK? And I'm going to preview that. All right, so now I've got three steps there. I can do Smooth Color or Specified Steps. I'm going to click OK. I've got specified steps now um, of three. Now, if I, want to, if I want to do anything to these shapes in between, I can. I've got plenty of options here, okay? But right now, if I click my direct selection tool, you'll notice I can't grab that individual shape. I can't do that. I can grab this individual shape, right? If I click off and click back on, I move the whole blend. If I click off and click back on, I can move this individual shape. I can even change the individual attributes of this one shape over here and every shape in between gets impacted, right? Come in and let's see if we can move that out. There we go. Um, and we grab this object, change it, and suddenly let me go and grab that anchor point. There you go. So now I'm changing this shape, right? You'll notice the shape on the other end doesn't change. All the other shapes in the middle do, right? Um, it's because this shape on the left and the shape on the right, the star, are are individual shapes, right? And the blend is being made off of those individual shapes. Now, what if I really love this star and I want to use this star from now on for everything? What I'll do is I'll click V on my keyboard to get my black arrow selection tool, my regular selection tool. I'll select them, go up to Object, Blend, Expand, and I'll expand the shapes. It still is going to treat them as though they're grouped, OK? Um, but I'm going to expand them and grab, I can grab with my direct selection tool, the white arrow tool, which is A on my keyboard, and I can move the individual object. Pretty cool, right? I'm going to do a follow-up video to this that's going to talk about um, doing smooth color blends, okay? So check it out if you need to see that one.